Imagine you've recently found yourself without a place to call home. Maybe you've had a falling out with your family, lost your job, couldn't pay rent. Or maybe you aren't recently without a home. Maybe you've been sleeping in your car or wherever you could manage for years. If you didn't know where you were going to sleep or where you'd get your next meal, if you had limited income and struggled to stay connected to your friends and family, how many of you think you might feel sad and alone? In fact, depression affects about 50% of all people experiencing homelessness, and all people who are homeless are subject to stress, fragility, and uncertainty that puts someone at risk for depression. Union Gospel Mission is a light in that darkness, providing food, clothes, and shelter to some of Dallas's most vulnerable community members. They have been serving people who are experiencing homelessness since 1947. Currently, they have more beds than any other shelter in Dallas and are still over capacity. The Metro Dallas Homeless Alliance reported a 28% increase in unsheltered persons from 2017 to 2018, yet Union Gospel Mission continues to reach as many people as possible because they are dedicated to their mission. The following project is brought to you by a group of six students at Southern Methodist University. Before we go any further, we want to take a moment to express our gratitude to the many community partners who assisted us with this project. Most especially, we are grateful to the staff of Union Gospel Mission for opening up their doors to us and sharing their mission so openly, and to the staff at the Metro Dallas Homeless Alliance for connecting us with so many passionate and generous people. We could not have done this without you. Thank you. As we set out to identify a way to address depression at UGM, our research process consisted of a literature review, three site visits, 28 interviews and consultations with shelter staff and community members, and an iterative prototyping process. Our goal was to leverage the shelter and community's existing resources, expertise, and values in order to design a solution for depression that was effective, desirable, and feasible. Through this, we have designed a simple, budget-neutral, and evidence-based integrative approach to reducing depression and improving well-being among men who are guests at UGM's Calvert Place Shelter, a program we call Lighthouse. Lighthouse will benefit all guests at the shelter, not just those experiencing clinical depression. According to Dr. Susan Spalding and Dr. Sanchez, not only are rates of depression very high in this population, they are also tightly interrelated with other complex mental health conditions and substance use behaviors. Targeting just those with depression fails to acknowledge the scope of the complex and challenging realities with which people experiencing homelessness must contend. More than this, though, we are guided by the belief that a rising tide lifts all boats, that when one of us improves, we all improve together, that all people can benefit from these programs, and all people bring something valuable to the table. It was out of this research and philosophy that Lighthouse was born. Light refers to our activities, while house refers to our goals. Through Lighthouse, we will link patients to care, integrate health programs, get moving, heal through connection, and transform the environment. In order to reach our goals, having depression, organizing clinic functioning, uniting the shelter and clinic activities, supplementing existing programs, and enhancing the environment. The foundation of our program is linking patients in the clinic to mental health care. Currently, the clinic is staffed by UT Southwest medical students and UTD graduate students. The system works very well for UGM, and it's because of this that we would like to build on the currently existing system by recommending a partnership with the clinical psychology program at UT Southwestern, led by Dr. Kennard, and the psychology clinic at SMU, directed by Dr. Tabag. This partnership will allow UGM to offer evidence-based mindfulness training, one-on-one -on -one therapy, and substance use counseling, which have all been proven effective in the treatment of depression. This partnership will also reduce barriers to seeking care by bringing the care directly to the clients of UGM. 
This will supplement the in-house pastoral care counseling program that UGM will soon be launching. Second, because rates of depression and mental illness are so high among people who are experiencing homelessness, we recommend that staff at UGM's clinics check in with patients about their well-being and take a moment to talk with each patient about options for mental health care, both at UGM as well as outside in the community. We have compiled a list of free and low-cost community resources for mental health care and substance use treatment in the Dallas area for the clinic to use in making these referrals. Through bringing care directly to Union Gospel Mission and providing referrals to community resources, we hope to build on UGM's existing system to link clinic patients to mental health care. The INR model stands for Integrate Health Services. Both UGM Shelter and Clinic currently offer health and wellness programs and are looking to offer more in the future. And to keep these programs organized and regularly scheduled, we propose the addition of an Integrative Health Programs Manager, a volunteer who coordinate health and wellness programs across the shelter and clinic. We've been told by clinic staff that the clinic has a list of volunteers to run health programs, but has been unable to fully leverage these individuals due to the challenge of coordinating new programs. The Integrative Health Programs Manager could take on this role, helping to expand the health programs that are offered. While currently, UGM has a great disciple program. As part of this program, the disciples are required to volunteer in the shelter at least 20 hours a week. We propose that a disciple fill this position of the Integrative Health Programs Manager as part of that requirement. This would also allow for vocational training as well as adding a link between the shelter and the clinic that does not currently exist. Physical activity has been linked to the reduction of depression. Because of this, the GNR model stands for Get Moving. UGM has a fitness center that is well used, but Ms. Bethane, UGM's Chief Executive for Development and Public Relations, told us that they hope to bring in people to teach fitness classes. Additionally, Mr. Butler, UGM's CEO, said that though they do not have recreational equipment, such as soccer balls, that if there was a bit of space and the equipment was available, people would definitely play. In other cities, soccer leagues at homeless shelters have positively influenced the players' health. Because of this, we have identified a local junior high soccer coach, Jake Hall, who is willing to provide equipment and play soccer each week with the men at the shelter. Yoga has also been demonstrated to be effective at reducing depression. Because of this, we have identified a person willing to teach an all levels yoga class suitable for people who are less mobile. Word of mouth and announcements at chapel could be used to boost attendance. The H of our model stands for Heal Through Connection. When somebody is facing so many challenges, it can be difficult for them to figure out where they can find care or to keep up with the small things, like appointments and taking their medication. That's where our patient navigators come in. These volunteers, who will come from a list already compiled by UGM, will help high-need individuals manage their health care, keep track of medications, as well as scheduled appointments. The program would start small with about four to six people, and the patient navigators would be effective not only as a source of navigation through healthcare, but also as a personal connection to help reduce depression. The T stands for transform the environment. The men of UGM have an outdoor space behind the shelter where they currently mingle, relax, and smoke. It's an important space for getting outside, but because there's no shade, it's extremely hot in the summer. There's not a good space for activities like soccer, there's little seating, and the staff would like to have a garden for the men. Through talking with a local landscaping company, we've identified a group that is willing to donate their time and resources to transforming the background and the backyard of UGM. Here's a 3D rendering that the landscape company we've been in communications with came up with for UGM's backyard space. You can see there's the addition of several trees, ample seating, and even a gazebo. The landscape company is looking forward to talking to UGM to work out what's best for them. But how will we know if this program is working? We recommend a simple evaluation conducted through tracking the completion of projects, the number of activities, and the number of attendees, all to be reported on a bi-weekly basis in combination with brief check-ins with the staff and clients. 
This will be the role of the Integrated Health Programs Manager. Though less robust than other forms of evaluation, we recommend this form rather than more intensive options because it will minimize the burden placed on the organization. By leveraging community resources, volunteers, and donations while reducing the burden on existing staff members, Lighthouse remains budget neutral. The total value of this project, depending on the number of volunteers and their time commitment, is estimated at $80,000 to $170,000 over the course of one year. UGM will need to provide a few hours of project startup for training of volunteers, but only minimal supervision time. Here is a breakdown of where those values come from. Of UGM, we are asking only these four very simple things. The training of volunteers, meeting with mental health supervisors and landscapers to implement plans, allowing access to the facility, as well as supervision for and time of one disciple. Lighthouse will reduce depression and improve well-being at Union Gospel Mission's Calvert Place Men's Shelter because it will link patients to care, integrate health programs, get people moving, heal through connection, and transform the environment.